Hello, 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 hello. It's me, it's me, John. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves me. There's nobody who doesn't. Um. So, so I'm assuming you already know what this video is about. Why? Why did you click on it? Hmm? Did you not look at the look at the thing? The thing? The the title? Hmm? Hmm? But uh, he didn't click on the title. You know, he didn't look at the title. He just, just kind of said, "Oh, I'm just gonna click on this random video." Just, just randomly. Hmm? You know? Just randomly click on it. Then I'll uh, I'll, I'll tell you what what it was. Hmm? T I'll tell you. Uh, it's a tutorial video. Hmm? Yeah. For for gorilla attack for ooh ah attack. You you want to get you want to get strong like me. You want to get a you want to be a buff man, big big buff man like me. Hmm? You know, with all with all the cool the, with all the cool techniques. You know, my my imaginary my imaginary girlfriend and uh, by my side. You know, you know, getting getting all the Roblox chicks. Then then you should you should you should learn how to how to do these things. Yeah, the the, the basics. You gotta have the basics, all right. You get to be a cool, to be a cool kid, you know. One of one of us cool kids. Mm -hmm. Then uh, learn the basics. This, this is what that's what this video is about. Yep. So just just get ready. We're also gonna learn go over one advanced thing, aren't we? Aren't we, John? Sure, my. We got a an advanced thing, my. Now we're gonna go over an advanced thing. But what what weird me said? Maybe Australian. Australian me, probably. I don't. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Whatever you said. What'd you say again? We sure are mine. What I say mine. I'll say we sure are. Yeah. That. That's what. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh. So. Yeah. Get ready to um. To learn. Learn with your big brains. Big brain McManian. All right. I. I did. Watch the video. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, foes. Hello everybody in this humble little abode. It's me, I exist, again. What? That's insane, I exist? This guy was a real human being? Who would have guessed such a thing? That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. Today we're playing another game. Same game, played multiple times. It's called Monkey Tag. Except this time, this time, this time right here, we're doing something different. Yeah, you heard me. You heard me. You heard me with my monkey hands, huh? See this? I'm gonna teach you how to do something. That's not lame. Maybe. Maybe a little bit lame. That's not, that's besides the point. That's not important. Okay. So, uh, you all probably have heard of Monkey Tag. If you haven't, um, then you haven't been watching. Uh, I guess you're not a TikTok person, but I'm not a TikTok person. I just, whatever. You probably just don't know about Monkey Tag. So, uh, Monkey Tag is basically a game where you run around, it's like, it's like parkour tag, but, uh, no monkey hands, and you don't have any legs, you see? Where are my legs? Where'd they go? My hand is under my body. I don't know. And, uh, basically, you use your hand as a locomotive, uh, tool. I said big brain words just there. And um, to get around, just use your hands to get around. It's basically right. It's basically okay. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's been blowing up in popularity. Mainly do it a lot of TikTokers making videos on it and stuff like that. I'm not really a big TikTok guy, so yeah. But um, I only found that you can get this game if you want to. If you think this game looks kind of fun, you can get it on uh, Side Quest. It's free. And I really enjoy this game, to be honest. Uh, actually, probably my favorite Oculus Quest game out there right now. Well, that and, uh, I, actually, I think this is my favorite. Uh, basically, there's a bunch of uh, advanced things. I'm just gonna be doing a tutorial on how to do some of the basic things, and then I'll teach you how to do one not basic thing, all right? That's what I'm doing today. So, uh, if you don't know what Monkey Tag is, Hold on, let me make this casual because right now I have like a super fast boost. Right? When you're a lava monkey, uh, you get this boost. I think it's a 25% boost, I'm not sure. I think in private games, uh, like if you're this type of lava monkey, there's like two different types. But if you're this type of lava monkey, I think it's like, it's a huge boost. I don't remember exactly what it is, but yeah. Anyway, basically, um, let's see. Really quickly, I'm gonna make this a casual. I didn't remember this. 
yeah, here we go. It's the action. So this is the computer screen. Basically, you use this to get around in the room, which is you can choose uh, different rooms. You can go to a private room, all that different stuff. You can name. You can change your name, color. You can change your color. I'm pretty sure it still uses RGB values. Oh uh, yeah, it uses RGB values. Uh, you can change how you turn. You can use smooth turn or a uh, three is for no turning. I don't. I, I have three on. And uh, or no, I have four. I have I have no turning speed, but you can also change the uh, speed of your turn. God, I can't talk today. Then uh, you can change your mic. Basically, it just changes who you can hear. It's, just, it's pretty cool. I, I like this. I like the little computer logo they made. And the cube. I've never actually used this one, the cube, before. But uh, let's see what this does. This option affects who you play with. Default is for anyone to play normally, competitive, if your players who want to put the game and try as hard as they can. Casual is for people who are just looking to hang out. Will, will it be infected? Will be it or infected? At option one for default, option two for competitive, option three for casual. I'm gonna make it to option three just right now. Because I know that should make me a, a normal monkey when I join this room. Yes, okay, good. Uh, so, basically, I'm going to teach you some of the basic things. I've learned this from just playing this game a lot, and uh, also just learning from a lot of people who I played the game with. So, uh, shout out to whoever has taught me any of the things that I'm te teaching the others today. Uh, basically, obviously the most important part is to run. You know, when you're on the ground, you're not in the freezer, you're not doing anything crazy, you're just running away, simply. That's all you're doing, right? So. Uh, in order to run, just put your hand down. Squish behind you. Squish it behind you, right? Hand down. You're gonna do this type of motion. Almost like if you're. Imagine you're swiping your phone like this. Boom, boom with your finger. But instead of that, you're doing it with your hand. So like this. Like this. And uh, I recommend when you're whenever you're moving around, I find it. If you want to go faster, you want to put your like find where your body level is. Right here, and you don't wanna. You wanna keep, when you when you're swiping, you wanna make sure that your body, that your hands stay at your body level. Like that's what I find is the most useful. Okay, because if you go too far below, you'll go up instead of forward. See? But if you go right at your body level, you do this like that. You just run and across. It's very good for skating people, which is basically the uh, main part of the game. Then of course jumping, like I just said, instead of this time wanting to keep it at your body level, you want to keep it past your body level. If you're trying to jump up something, you want to smack the ground and make sure that it goes, you want it to be below your body level, right? Like right here, you want it to be, it to be below this little squadron thingy thingy, your, your belly. <laughs> right there, right? And uh, that's how you jump in this game. You just kind of smack the ground upwards and you can jump. Okay, so you've probably been seeing I've been smacking that and then smacking up that branch. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. So the best way to practice this, I feel anyway, is to go over here, come to this section with this little wall running thingy thing. And uh, this is like the wall run, I mean not wall running, uh, this is the wall climbing practice area. In order to wall climb, you take one hand and you push off the wall and then upwards. Push upwards and off the wall. Like this. My hand goes right here. And it goes. So you want to push your hand down, because like just like in normal, if you were to push your hand down in real life, and you had no legs, you would go up, right? So you want to push your hand down, and you also make sure you want to push in that direction, or you want to push the opposite of that direction. So down and to the right. That's what you want to push, right? If you're going, if you're trying to go over there. Just push it down to the right. Boom. Like this. You want to go over here, and you want to push that way. Same thing. Mm, 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 mm. And then you can wall climb. Oh, uh, there's different ways to wall climb. Like for instance, you can do it with one hand too. I don't really do it with one hand, but some people do. Uh, another thing that you can do when you're wall climbing is so there's two different types of wall climbing. That the the main big types is the speed wall climbing. And then there's a height. Like there's one that mainly for speed and one that's for height. So you go higher and you go faster with one. So this is the faster one. Just push really fast. Just push really hard and really fast. 
It's really all it is. So, uh, for that, really, just don't know. Instead, of, you, you focus more on to left to right to, than up. Like, instead of, you know how normally I taught you how to do this? You more It's more like just pushing off. But you still want to push upwards. But that's how you do it fast. Some people cannot. Then, uh, the other one, which is height, it's, you, you focus less on left to right. You still have to make it so you get over there. But you focus left on less to right and more just upwards, right? So that's more of a, like, this sort of motion. That's sort of a, like, instead of this. Instead of this, right, you're doing this, this, like this. And that'll get you higher. But it'll probably take, but uh, you're not gonna go as fast. For me personally, when I was trying to escape from lava monkeys, uh, well, there's actually three types. And there's one, there's, the last type is where you combine both of these. So you go, you push really hard, and you still go with the height. So like this. This is how I do it most of the time. Unless there's like a specific reason or not do it. Unless, like, unless there's like a specific reason that I don't want to do this. Like, let's say if I want to do speed and specific, it'd probably be because uh, I'm trying to stall, right? Let's say there's a lava monkey below me, right? I would come up here and just push back and forth and probably watch. And then maybe I, I make them think I'm trying to go up and then I go over here and just not go up. And run over here and like go up here. So, and for height, if it was a height thing, uh, I really I really only suggest using the last method if you're trying to actually get up there, but for height, there, let's say there's a lava monkey chasing you and you wanna go up high, right? And you, you can see them chasing you. They're going pretty fast, they're really pushing. You're like, uh-oh, uh-oh, what am I gonna do here? And then you juke them out, like that. Like, like I feel like that's the best idea, because unless you get a head start where, where the lava monkey's chasing you, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I would only use the, I would only use the third. Because if you get a head start, then I guess you could use one or two, the first or second one. But uh, I would recommend using the third one if they're chasing you and you're not having a head start. So, uh, after that, there's, after wall climbing, there's a bunch of other stuff to do. So let's go over here. Right. You probably have been seeing that I've been, wall, I've been walking all these branches. Rocking, rocking on the branches is not that hard, actually. Uh, oh, also, I feel like, I'm pretty sure that there's no actual difference if you hit the ground with two hands and if you hit it with one hand. So uh, if you're trying to jump, unless it's like a control thing, maybe, maybe jumping with two hands using better control, I would just use one hand, okay? Because jumping with two hands may feel cooler, but <laughs> it's kind of time consuming. Like, because then you have to raise both hands and go at the same time. And I personally feel like it's just stupid. But yeah, um, so you see how I've been grabbing all these branches? Branches, it's really just, I can't really explain to you how to, how to hit yourself over to this, you know? You just do the jumping thing that I taught you how to jump, and, and but you want to jump at an angle. I mean, it kind of just comes naturally, to be honest. It's, it's, you just have to feel for it, right? So, if I want to go to that branch, I just kind of feel for it. I mean, it, it, at one point, if you if you practice long enough, you'll figure it out. But um, I feel like I can give you some tips on how to do it. Make sure you don't overshoot. Like, if you if you know that there's an easier way to get over there, uh, unless unless you're like unless you're like a pro, or you really know how, if you memorize how to do the harder way. I would just, I would take the easier route. Right? Because if you mess up on a hard route while someone's chasing you, then you're screwed. They're gonna tag you, right? So, always take the easier route, unless you like, unless the hard route is the, is also an easier route for you, right? That's basically one of the first lessons. Uh, in this game, we have this stick time thing, like this. Like, you see how I can stick for a, for a good amount of time? Uh, I can't remember what the exact time is, but I can stick. Right? You want to use that stick time to your advantage. Let me show you what I mean. So when you come over to this tree stump, uh, like this. Oh yeah, this is just a wall climbing thing. But uh, for whatever reason, people have problems with it. I'm not sure why. But you just have to just atone for how how far you think you're gonna have to jump, right? I also do the for this. I would also recommend number three of the techniques. But uh, I'll show you an example of what I mean by taking advantage of the stall time in the air. So come over here, 
right? You don't have to do this. It's just an example. But uh, if I stall, I can I can estimate how much time I'm gonna need. Like I can basically it just makes you it just gives you big brain think time, right? You get big brain think time. So you get time to calculate. Not really calculate, but just think about how long it's gonna take you or how hard you have to push to get to a certain place, right? Like this. So if I wanna calculate how hard it's gonna take me, how, how hard I had to push, then I would keep my stall time up. And that's the whole point, right? And uh, another thing I wanna address is that a lot of people say, oh my God, I can't move. I just got tagged and I can't move. No, it's not a bug. It's not a bug. It's been in there intentionally. It's because when you're in tag, you know how you normally have to count down. All right, now count to five. And then you say one, two, three, four, five. That's like what you're doing. So that's basically what you're doing. Um, I don't know why I did that weird voice. But that's why you have a little stall when you get tagged. All right? Now I'm gonna teach you some roots. Them roots, boys. Them roots. Them, them hardcore parkour roots. First root, come up here. Come up here, right? You run. You go run, run, ooga booga. And you go to here, right here, right? So there's two ways you can do this. Um, you could go over here. There's actually a lot of ways you could do this. You could go over here and hit right here, which I guess, I guess you could do that, but it wouldn't be as efficient as the other way you can do it, which is where you go over here. And right around here, you jump over. You jump over to this little platform right here, right? And once you get to this platform, you wanna go onto this branch, right? Get over here, push upwards to, to this branch right here. And uh, you can pull yourself, I forgot to mention that you can pull yourself up, like with your hand, which is, I thought would just be kind of basic, but for some people, I don't know why, it wasn't just like common knowledge that you can pull yourself up in a physics-based game, but yes, you can, you can do this, just like that, right? So, uh, and after this, I'm gonna make sure you can actually see what I'm doing, because a lot of YouTubers don't actually watch YouTube videos, they're going too, they're going too fast. You want to jump from here, you want to jump from here to there, right? You can jump onto that rat bridge if you can't make it, but like this. And then from right here, when you get over here, push upwards onto this branch, from there to here. Then this is the way to the big tree, then you just go like this. And you hit yourself up onto, onto the branch right here. And now you're on big tree, or hollow tree, or hollow stump, or whatever you want to call it, okay? So that really. Then from right here, another route that I've already shown you multiple times, but you come off this branch from right here, and then you go hit yourself over here. Okay, I screwed that up. Just editor, cut that out. That didn't happen, all right? Future me, I'm probably not gonna cut it out, but uh, it's not that it didn't happen, all right? Ignore that. I'm a professional, okay? Even professional make mistakes with that, but me. And then go up here. I don't know why, I'm really not, really, really, uh, I don't know, slow today, slow today. You come over here, use the stall time, and push over here, right? Then from right here, you can go up here. Oh my God, okay, just ignore what that happened. Oh, uh, basically, what you wanna, <laughs> I'm just gonna go from right here, okay. I'm gonna get back to where we were, very quickly. You're right here. Then you wanna jump over to that, that branch right there. You wanna jump up to it. Grab it. Then there's another branch. There's another, there's a, uh, other ways you could do this, but you could just go over here. Which is that, uh, if you don't know how to hug climb, which I will teach you how to do in a couple seconds, uh, you can do this. Then you go up here. And then you go over here. And then onto this branch. Then from right here, you just push yourself up. Just like this. And that's a root. And then, uh, what most people like to do after this is to go onto this branch over here. My audio is not existent in the game for whatever reason. Just don't pay attention to that. Why it's doing this, I'm not sure. But, uh, you don't need audio. <laughs> then you go over here. I'll probably put some music on here so uh, it sounds better. And then from right onto this branch, you push on over here. And then, uh, how much chasing you? You can just do them out, but then you repeat the process. You go back over here, back over here. This is basically the way to get all the way around the map, over and over again, which will get kind of old eventually. So yeah, anyway, fall down that on purpose. That was 
That was on purpose. Uh, then you wonder why your audio is not working, right? So what you do when you're wondering why your audio is not working is you go back to the computer to fix it. Because it's very disturbing playing this game with no audio. It makes me feel really scared for whatever reason. Just, just gonna go get me audio, go get me audio back. We gotta get me audio back. Audio, please. Audio, interrupt. Yeah, there you go. Whew. That was very unsettling for, for me for whatever reason. Uh, now that I taught you that, there's a bunch of other routes, but I'll probably go into that in a, another video, showing you some basic, well-known ones. Uh, then here's this, wall climbing. So I would go to the wall climb uh, wall to practice this. Basically, hug the, hug the little thing right here, hug it, put your arms around it, right? And clinch in, then you wanna pull up. Just look at this, pull up. Hug it and pull up. Boom. And hug it again. Boom. Pull it up. Hug it. Pull up. Hug it. Pull up. And just repeat that until you're at the top. And then when you're at the top, um, then you're at the top. I don't know what to say. When you're at the top, you're at the top. <laughs> then you can also do this on trees. Look at booby trees. Uh, a tree that I found that I like to practice on is just right here. I think there was a point where I think these branches didn't have collision, but now they do. Oh, but you just want to hug this, like find a good find a good side of one of these trees, hug it, do what you did over earlier, put your hands out on them, and you just pull up, right? And then you're gonna get it a branch one time, but I'll get into how to turn later. This is just I'm just gonna teach you how to hug climb for right now, okay? So that's how you hug climb. You hug, pull up, pull up, like that. And after hill climbing, there is advanced wall climbing. This is a tedious task. Uh, it requires a good amount of practice unless you're a prodigy and your brain cells are just big, 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 big brain brain cells. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and credit uh, Eric, that Eric guy. Can't remember his whole name, but his name is Eric and he's one of the best monkey tag players, or gorilla tag players, that's what it's called, but I call it monkey tag because it sounds better players that I've ever seen. Uh, he's really good, and I want to credit him for teaching me this. Um, so, he has a YouTube channel. You just search up Eric Monkey uh, Gorilla Tag. It should come up. I can't remember. It's, he has a bunch of numbers on his channel, but that's not important, all right? So in order to wall climb, this is what he taught me. He taught me to go right here, put one hand over here, and you push into the wall, right? You just go up and you push into the wall, right? And he said to do this around five times, just go right here, push yourself into the wall. It's uh, sort of like this motion. Say, boom. Swap, slap the wall sideways like this. That's the type of motion. Once you can do it on your right hand, at least do it at least five times until you get a hang of it, right? Maybe 10 if, you're, if you can, don't get a hang of it by then. Then you can do it the other way uh, with your left hand. Boom, do it five times with your left hand so you got the hang of it. And you don't have to hang of it in five times, then, then do it a billion times, or until you get the hang of it, right? Then once you do that, uh, then you have to just combine those two. I think there's some other steps, but that's basically what I what I did. I just combine the two. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Push into the wall. Keep pushing into the wall. Until so you get all the way up here, and then you fall down. Uh, some people are really good and can go out, well, they used to be able to go outside the mat, but not anymore. They patch that. Uh, there used to be a lot of other wall climbing areas that you could go to, but those are gone as well. Uh, so yeah, those are that's basically the basics of this game. I think think I covered everything. If there's anything I didn't cover, feel free to let me know. If there's any like things you've seen anybody see do. Uh, just let me know. I haven't actually figured out how to wall. If you're wondering why I didn't teach you how to wall run yet, I'll teach you how to wall run when I figure out how to wall run, all right? Because I'm not going to lie, wall running is kind of weird. It's pretty, pretty weird. Why is my thing so spaced out? Put it together, please. Thank you. Wow, everything looks so much better now. I don't know why everything looks so blurry. So, um, wall running is really weird, but, uh, I'll teach you how to do that once I got the hang of it, all right? Right now, the only thing I can really do is, like, if I go up here, I get up to this part right here. And I can kind of go like this. It doesn't really count. But I guess it kind of does, I don't know. But yeah, uh, 
so that was that was a a basic tutorial oh wait no i, I did miss out one thing I didn't leave out one thing uh branch swinging right swinging from branch to branch swinging from branch to branch is pretty easy um once you get like the hang of the game mechanics and stuff uh just hit yourself over to a branch and oh my god that didn't happen my controllers kind of lagged out okay that's all that happens there it's not a skill issue <laughs> I'm just, I made a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. If you make a mistake, uh, don't, don't feel bad about yourself. Just keep pushing, and you'll eventually get it. Right? Right here? Like push over here. Okay, so, um, like I said, don't feel bad about yourself. <laughs> you'll eventually get it. Uh, my arm, I keep forgetting that my arm doesn't have collision, right? I'm gonna, they should probably just pack that sometime soon. Or maybe just make it so my arms do have collision. That'd be very nice. I very, I enjoy that very much. Anyway, you push yourself over here, right? Just like that. And branching, or branch swinging, goes by different, many different names. Uh, it's basically the art of swinging from one branch to another. So you wanna go from this branch over here. So, uh, a way this guy taught me, <laughs> one time I played with him, uh, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, more like, maybe not weeks ago. Maybe like four or five weeks ago. But uh, he taught me how to swing from branch to branch, right? Like how to swing it efficiently. <laughs> how to swing efficiently. So um, he said that first, what you wanna do is you wanna get in the habit of just swinging from branch to branch, okay? Like go on a private game, swing from each branch to each branch until you're familiar with all, where all the branches, or at least important branch locations. Where you're familiar with branch, where, where the branches are, even when you can't see them, right? That's what he told me to do. You don't have to do that, but I'd recommend it because it really helped me out in the game. Uh, so, then the other thing he said was to, whenever you whenever you hit a branch, even when you're just flying to a branch, you immediately want to like s map out what you're going to do. Right? So, for instance, if you're up here and there's lava monkeys coming, you want to think about the, you're going to think about where you go before you just jump off like an idiot. No offense if you do that. I'm just saying, think about it. <laughs> Right? So let's say, if I'm gonna jump over here, Love Monkey's coming, I'd jump from there to that branch, then I'd run over here, onto that little platform right over there, then I'd jump to that branch, over to that platform, like this. So this platform, this branch, and this platform over here. That would, that would be my, my uh, approach. And every time that you're about to land on a branch, or you even do land on a branch, or you even do land on a branch, when you land on a branch, immediately, Okay? So you know the way, start looking for other branches to land on. If someone's chasing you, they're not gonna be like, oh my god, he went to another branch, I can't do that, that's impossible, unless they like, don't know how to do it. In which case, maybe they will be like that. But when you land on a branch, already start looking up for other branches to go to, other places to go to, right? So if I land over here, I'm gonna go over here. And I wanna go down here, maybe. And you just kinda wanna feel where you wanna go. Okay, like over here, push off there, like that's, that's basically what you want to do, okay? Then, uh, that's really all I have to cover for today. I think I've covered everything, that I can think of at least. And, uh, let's see, video's been 26 minutes long, me teaching you how to do stuff. Next thing I'm going to do is <laughs> to use this stuff in a game, okay? So let's go ahead and get in a monkey tag in a bat game, okay? Right now I'm kind of having my hands together because my other hand is holding water that I'm about to drink. Okay, just gotta. <laughs> I'll be here in a second, guys. Let me finish drinking my water. Oh no. Okay, okay. Okay, put the water down. Let's go over here. And we're gonna go into a real lobby with human being people. And I'm actually going to change the queue. Uh, back to normal, one for default. And we are going to go to the forest, okay? That's where we go. Okay, so get ready. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to, I'm gonna just play a monkey tag match for a couple minutes. So, I'm gonna do that right around now. Up here? <laughs> no? Oh, I can't. <laughs> Look at the lava monkey. Lava monkey. <laughs> this is 
just a fun tree. There's a lava monkey. I see a lava monkey. Lava monkey. Are you like a new? Are you new? Here, tag me. Come, come on. I'll be a lava monkey brother. I'll be a lava monkey brother. Alright. I will be a lava monkey brother, but we will tag. We will tag forever. You guys should just. Better run, little kids. Run, the, like, run, run, run! Oh, you didn't run fast enough. Sorry. Just come. Yeah. You guys are. You guys are you it's kind of sad up here. Oh, I did the mean no thing. Way. There's no way you got it. Oh. Dead. So many other. All of you are dying. I'm on a killing spree. Purple die. Everybody will die. That was fucking silly. No one wait, will escape wait, wait, from wait, wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Waiting is not an option. I tag, and when I tag, there's no mercy! <sighs> oh my god. They own the company! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, he's gonna get my dad. Oh hey, hey Red, hey Red, are you ready to die? I'm gonna get Red! I'm gonna get everybody! I'm, I'm gonna have gotten every single being in the lobby. I got everyone! Oh no, I didn't, who's left? And then you just continue, and you just, and then you fall. 
Yeah, and then you just want to practice swiping into the wall multiple times, right? Practice swiping into the wall. Yes. With your right hand and your left hand. Do it maybe five or ten times. Then once you've actually got the hang of it, once you've got the hang of it, uh... Oh no. Just keep doing it over and over again. Just want to keep exactly. going. Exactly! Right? See, right? stream, right. it's not hard. I'm messing up right now. Just don't pay attention to that. See? I'm not messing See, up. See, scream, it's not that hard. It's not like I have eight times people. Yeah. Just that first. It's not even that hard for me. I'm, I'm aging this. My controller is not going to die very soon. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end my recording now. <laughs> Let's see how long. Oh, God, I went over time. All right, so that's, that's enough. Purple. So after this YouTube video, if you enjoyed, drop a like and uh become floor game. Feeling game bad. Uh and don't forget, don't forget, drink your milk, get big boy bones, and uh be be a be a poo poo a gorilla for later. Alright. Uh I'm gonna go out to uh, I gotta go take my non-existent girlfriend out to a date, alright? I'll be back. Bye!